Hello everyone, David Seven Skies here. Uh, today I'm going to show you something that I've been asked quite a lot lately and it's what's up with the whole uh, Rubicon base and uh, so this is actually the whole base part of Rubicon. I'm not going to show you the whole project because it's there's other people working, there was other people working on the project and so they might not be okay with me showing other stuff but yeah if I just show the base it's it's fine um, so the main base is actually this one um, just called David base and it comes from strobe and let me play it in solo and it's basically the only layer that's uh, probably the first time I actually use just a layer of, uh, of base but it's it's actually just enough uh, and yeah, the sound comes from strobe, and this is the setting. There's a saw wave, uh, then a little bit of square, and then there's quite a bit of distortion. Um, then there's equilibrium as an EQ, there's a little bit of low cut, then LFO tool that's just gonna give us the side chain. Then this one is actually an interesting thing. Um, I always use this compressor on um, on bass lines, and the reason is uh, the reason I do this is because this is actually a really fast and natural compression, um, and basically when the bass changes the key, you know that when bass changes key. Um, sometimes you get a louder um, response and sometimes the bass is too quiet and so you can't hear it really, really well. Um, now this will happen, this will always happen even with compression, but uh, this, uh, this compressor actually helps a lot fixing a little bit of that. Um, and obviously here is just a note, but um, in, I don't think there's a, yeah, no. But later in the track there was a, you know, key changing part of the bass and so this helps um, leveling kind of evening up the whole the whole bass so you can see that in some lower note the compress the compressor is working less than higher notes and that kind of evens up the sound um, then there's a lot of other LFO tools they always do the same thing. It's just that, you know, sometimes you just add stuff and then it stays there and then it sounds good and then you just don't take it out anymore. And there's an elephant, which is just a, it's just a limiter. So we don't uh, clip, but then, well, we clip anyway here because there's another equilibrium and that's gonna cut the bass. Um, Cause it's, it's really muddy. This bass is actually really, really muddy. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of low cutting going on. Um, and so yeah, that's actually, this is actually the main bass. This is all it does. Um, something really particular about this is that uh, it's shuffled. So you can see here the notes aren't really on the grid. Um, and this is, the reason as to why it's shuffled is that um, I wanted to give this kind of a Sender Van Dorn, and I don't remember the track, I think it's Control Freak. No, it's, it's actually a Sender Van remix, so the track was by Armin Van Buren. Um, but it has this really big and drivey, shuffly bass, and that's what I wanted to get with uh, with Rubicon. So, um, if it wouldn't be shuffle, the track would be, the bass would be like this, and hear how it sounds. Actually, let me play it with the kick. It's cool, but it doesn't really drag the whole thing. Um, so we put it to 16, uh, I think it was C, yes. You can hear that the bass is more drivey now. Um, this is something I usually do. It helps a lot with, uh, you know, giving that kind of nice groove to your tracks. Um, now we have a, 
few different layers here. They can't really be considered as a base, but you know, let's, let's pretend that they are. Um, and it's this part. So um, this comes from the ES2 actually, it's a super simple sound. There's homicide. This is probably what's gonna do a lot of the job. It makes it nice and greedy. Then there's a low cut. Then there's LFO tool. And then there's this. Gives a little bit of room. Then more channel EQ and more LFO for later. Uh, this is silent, so it's just a super simple sound as well. And more homicide. That's it. Gives that gives that sparkle. And then there's more LFO tool. And then there's this one, which is the exact same sound as this, but uh, it's set to square wave as opposed to saw wave. So it just gives a little bit of variation. And when you play it all together with the bass, and with the kick, And then there's these other layers, which are just um, like kind of add stuff to the bass. There's a lot of camel crash. This is just like a simple, simple sound. More camel crash. Um, of which we'll just give a little bit of sidechain again and then some EQ. Then more samples here. Yep. Pretty much same kind of channel you can see. And then another sample. Yeah, that was basically it. Also, um, one thing actually that I didn't, that I forgot, I forgot to mention um, is that if you do uh, your bass line or whatever, your percussion or anything in uh, shuffle mode, so basically by using either swing um, 16C or 16B or 16 anything, uh, you might want to have everything that follows that quantized because otherwise it sounds really messy and inconsistent. So if you're doing a bass which is in 16C, um, all of your basses should be like that, your leads should be like that, and your percussion should be like that as well. Because otherwise what's gonna happen is that um, some element is gonna give a certain flow and the other element is gonna give another flow, and that's gonna create a big giant mess and you're gonna screw up your whole flow. And you don't want that. But yeah, this is it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little quick video thingy. Sorry, I didn't show the whole track, but like I said, it's not just my track, so it's better not to just show everyone's secrets. And before I go, don't forget that um, the extended mixes of Unified by Super and Tab is coming out on Anjuna Beats on April the 27th, and it contains 
two tracks that I did with them. One is Rubicon and the other one is Antipodes. So yeah, don't forget to buy that one because you might want to have well, this one is already out, but Antipode's extended mix is not yet, so you might want to go grab that one. And yeah, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And from me, David, Seven Skies, see you next time. Bye-bye.